Hey everybody, today I've got a 99 Dodge Ram 2500 uh, extended cab short bed. It's, these trucks are very high off the ground. So my friend wants me to install these Bully Brand steps on it. So the instructions are pretty good. It tells you to look in the instructions and figure out what type of rocker you have. You know, group A, group B, group C, or group um, D and E. Luckily, he has basically group A where this is flat. So first thing we did is we opened the door and they say to put the center of the seat where you want this. So we put a mark there and then after we marked that there, we put this up in the center to make sure that there's nothing back here that's going to be holding the uh the step away because this car does have a drain here a drain here and a drain up here so luckily we're going in between the drains so that's center and then we measured this hole and this hole it's eight in because you're going to drill new holes in this so we put a mark here at eight and uh, mark here at zero. So that's where we're gonna drill our holes. The step's gonna sit just like that. We might have to put a little tiny spacer behind it to get it to fit level because see how it rocks. So we'll put the spacer up inside. So now we're gonna drill the holes. We're gonna drill a hole here and drill a hole here. We're gonna start with a one eighth drill bit and then go up. I do believe that the, the bolts they give you are uh, 5 sixteenths. Let's see. Yes, they are 516, so we're gonna start drilling small and move up. We're gonna use the brand new Hyperstep drill bits. I'm also gonna get a center punch and center punch these because we wanna make sure that we get the bolts. I wanna get the bolts as high as possible. So I'm gonna put the flat piece up as high as possible and then put the center punch and we're gonna center punch it there and there and drill the holes. All right, let me get my drill and the center punch and we'll come right back. All right, so we're gonna have to drill a hole here. So I want, like I said, I want the bolt as high as possible. So I'm gonna set my punch here, and then I'm gonna move in because this is where I want. This is one of these automatic center punches. You just put it, push it, reload it, hit it again, hit it again, and it'll put a nice little dimple there for you so you know where to drill. So now that was the center. So now we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna look for where center should be, which is right about there. All right, we got those thing. So we're gonna use the hyper drill, drill bits here. Actually, hold on, you're right back. ended up missing you should tape this area up here so when the drill falls through it doesn't scratch the paint so I got myself one of these really thick fender, fender covers that I use so when it goes all the way through when it goes all the way through the arbor won't hit and screw up his paint Okay, let's do the next one, same thing. Okay. We're gonna go up to some steps here. We're gonna do quarter inch next, quarter inch next. And like I said, these are these new hyper step bits. They're actually stepped and they cut really nice. So let me put my protector back up here. Now we're 
going to go up to the next three eighths. They want me to drill three eighths, but these are only five sixteenths bolts. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna drill. I think that might be a mistake. They're five sixteenths. I'm gonna drill five sixteenths because I want the hole to be tight. I'm not gonna drill them three eighths. Um, five sixteenths. So. Because every, all the bolts are five sixteenths, yeah. So, oops, almost forgot my protector. I'll have to find some. I'll have to find some tape to tape these up. There's that one. There's that one. And like I said, now. The five sixteenths bolts fit nice and tight in the hole. If you drilled them three eighths, it wouldn't be good. So now that we have that done, we need to put this up here, level the step out. That looks pretty level, doesn't it? That looks pretty good. All right. So now we're gonna gonna take. I'm gonna take the center punch. Well, actually, we need to come back just a hair. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and put a mark there. And I'm going to go ahead and drill these. Now, these are, these steps are aluminum steps. So, this drill, this hyper step drill bit should be able to drill right through this aluminum without any problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put that there and we're going to level the step out. And we're going to put a put. Can you put your other hand behind here and hold it, hold it, hold it, pull it this way. Here, here take your hand Here, switch hands camera. Take this hand and yes, like that. There you go. All right, here, bring it up some, up some, just a hair more. That looks good. Hold it right there. I'm going to take the center punch and punch that. All right, look up. We'll drill another hole here. There we go, there we go. So now we're gonna have to go on the inside and mark and drill these holes because then you use basically these sheet metal screws on the inside. I don't think there's any other hardware, but that's what it is. We're gonna use these sheet metal screws inside. Actually, I might have some better screws to use than these, so I might go get them. Um, and I'm also going to, I think I have some, some clear, and I'm going to clear these or put some paint in here so they don't rust. All right, I couldn't find any clear, but what I do have is I have some uh, black rustoleum. So this is how I'm going to do this, is I'm just going to take it and I'm going to paint, paint the holes like that. And I know, I'm like, oh my God, look what you did. It looks terrible. Then you just come back with a rag before it dries and you just wipe off the excess and then the holes are all painted. Excellent. So um, uh, let's take a look at the hardware we have here. We have nuts. We don't have any locking nuts. I don't like that at all. And the washers appear to be okay. Um, I think I have some locking nuts that we'll use instead to make sure they don't come loose. So let me round up some different hardware. I, I'd rather use the, because uh, they didn't even give you any uh, lock washers. So I think what I'm gonna do is let me uh, get some 5 16th lock. Actually, these might be metric. I might not have anything. 
All right, well, we'll figure out what's going on, but I don't think I have any locking nuts for metric. I have them only for American, but we'll get this. Well, while we're on the camera, let's go ahead and put it back up here. Let's, I'm gonna go ahead and take and put um, a bolt of washer, a bolt of washer. Let's go ahead and put that up. Put that one up and in, and then we'll take another washers and put them on the inside and we'll just we're kind of still mocking this thing up so we'll just go ahead and use these nuts for now definitely need some type of lock washer or something on these they just are falling right on all right That should be a 13 millimeter. have that tight we need to come in here and see if it's fitting flush which see it is not fitting flush at the top there so we're gonna have to put a spacer up there so we'll have to figure out how big of a spacer we need to put these bolts in all right actually looking at the instructions I made a mistake um, this is not a group A, this is a group C because the inside here bends at an angle in. So when you look for the instructions, doo -doo 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 -doo, it tells you to put a plastic wedge in. They give you plastic wedges and some extra hardware. So as you can see, I've already taken one of the plastic wedges. Can you see that? Let's see. I've already installed one of the plastic wedges in here. Here's the other plastic wedge, and you just put them up in here. I'm probably gonna have to loosen it back up a little bit to get this one in here, but actually, there it goes. Um, can you go get me the little tiny hammer? So I've got the uh, plastic wedges in here. I'm gonna take and uh, center them. Excellent, thank you. And I'm just gonna take and tap them a little bit to center them in here. And now they want you to drill the holes and use these screws. Well now these screws are going to be kind of shallow. So I happen to have these screws, which I absolutely, which I absolutely love, they're self-tapping, self-tapping uh, bolts that I'm gonna put in here and just drill them in the pl in place. Okay, so these are a three-eighths head. I got a um, three-inch extension with the locking mechanism, and I'm just gonna use my electric air ratchet. Come in here and Okay, this metal is a little too thick for these. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drill a pilot hole. And now that I have a hole started, I'm gonna go ahead and drill a pilot hole and get these things started.
yes see that's the problem see right there my drill is too long to reach in here so and i really don't want to drill these holes at an angle oh let me run and see if i have a smaller drill to get up in this space and we'll drill the pilot holes in there and then after we drill the pilot holes in there we'll put the bolts in pull the bolts back out spray some more paint in there to seal them up all right so actually what i happen to have is i happen to have a tool that turns your impact gun into a drill so i have this arbor that's got a 3 8 end that fits on your impact so this will go on there and now i can put the drill bit in here and now this will easily fit in here the only problem with these is is you have to use a key it's not it's not a keyless chuck so let's get this drill bit out of there and get installed in here all right and now it fits There we go, there's the first hole. And I'll get lined up and let's go ahead and do the second hole. All right. We'll get a little bit of paint and we'll spray some paint up in those holes. And we'll wipe off the excess. And now we'll put the self tappings. The screws back up. So there's the first one. All right. There we go. Installation completed. Like I said, follow your instructions. Your instructions definitely are pretty good. Now I did use a bunch of different tools here and um, I did not use these because I think these were gonna be too short. So I used my self tapping screws. And now the only other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these back out and I'm gonna put a lock washer behind these so they don't back out, but it seems pretty stable so now I only have four more to do he this is an extended cab so he wants another step put back here if I can find a place to put it all right everybody I'm gonna leave it here at this thanks for watching please subscribe you can always do that in that corner right there please give me a thumbs up if you like the video please give me a thumbs down if you don't please like and share like I said this again this was on a $2,500 $2,500 ram 1999 but it should be the same for like 1994 up to 2001 there we go all right everybody thanks for watching